I get a hit? Sounds, yep. Yes. Feels like a pretty decent fish. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It's another beautiful day in August. I'm out bass fishing today. Of course, there's pickerel, perch, bluegill in here, like any other pond. And uh, I've got shiners, night crawlers, and all the usual lures, spinner baits, rapalas, soft plastics. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I think I'm going to throw some live bait out. Probably a shiner and a bobber, see what happens. And I'll uh, go back to the spinner bait. So I'm parked in these uh, lily pads, which is kind of good. So I want to cast and let the bobber sit. So. Something's chasing it, I think. That's, it's, that's the shiner. I'm gonna try and just move up a hair. Just above these pad, lily pads, that way if I catch anything, I won't get stuck in the lily pads. Alright, this part right here should be good. It is a warm August day. Well, that's probably about 84 out today, but uh, July has been super wet. I think it rained like 25 out of 30 days. So August so far has been great. It's August 6th today. I got a hit here. Yep, I got something. Oh, you took it right under and uh, got my bait. All right, well, it's a good sign anyways. Let's get another shiner on there. So if you watched any of my other videos, I always like to take live bait, shiners or worms or both besides lures because live bait usually works. Uh, if you're not getting them on lures, you always have that option to go to shiners or worms. So that's one thing I like to do. All right, I think I'm gonna venture over to this little island over here. 
Now I ice fished over here in January, February. It did pretty good. I caught, uh, I think four bass. One of them was over four pounds. A few of them were like two pounds. I got a decent pickerel that was like 21 inches. But uh, it's all around five to seven feet deep all through here. While I have that out, I'm gonna cast this uh, frog. Lunker hunt frog. See what happens. See that action. Water. I've got a fish on. I didn't even know it. Teeny bass, teeny tiny bass. So small, didn't even know he was on there. Okay, get the hook out. Okay, gotta get this dude out. Just a little guy. So, first fish on the board. Not a lunker, but it's a fish. So let's see what happens. So I'm sitting right in the middle of these lily pads and it's real nice because it's keeping me stationary. There's a little bit of wind and what, using a bobber and a shiner or a bobber and a worm, you don't want the canoe twisting all around, even if you're using a lure, but this is kind of nice. So I'm gonna cast right up in here I have a feeling there's going to be some right inside between these two lily patch. It's playing around with it. There it goes. Yep, here we go. Yep, there it is. Pickle. Small pickerel, slimy pickerel. There you have it. I'm moving over here. A few open spots over here. I want to try a couple fallen trees. I am headed straight for that island there. I'm gonna get over there, stretch my legs. I was gonna go over to this island, but decide to go over here. I'll get behind there, get out on the shore, cast from the shore, play around over there, see what happens. Thought I saw something moving in over there between those pads. Something's playing with it. Something's got it. Something's got it. Something's taking it. Something was something was playing around with it. 
I'm just taking it. Help. that time of the night or end of the day I should say so that's two bass one pickerel it's gonna be dark in probably an hour but this is the probably the best time to fish so Let's see what happens hope we can hook into a big one a big one as they call them just had a small bass come up and hit this spinnerbait right at the end of these lily pads I, I didn't have my camera on of course but I'm gonna see if I can get him. Let's see. He'll come back. He'll come back. Yeah. I reeled in, I let it drop for about two seconds, brought it in, he hit right at the edge of these lily pad right here. Small though. Yeah. Right, I got a night crawler on here. I'm gonna see if I can get him with that. I don't care how you get him, as long as you get him, right? They don't hit that crawler, they're crazy. Okay, look who just came back. It's gotta be that same bass. He's taking it and yeah, I got him. This is the one I think is the spinnerbait. No, pickerel. Right, the other one was a bass, but. Alright, all right, take it easy, buddy. It's okay. Alright. The other one was a bass, but. Alright. Right, I got one right here. Oh. Coming back. Alright, so it's coming back. There he goes. He's playing with it. Come on, take it, take it. Come on. It's a small fish playing around with it. Probably a perch or something or a bluegill. The way they're hitting it. Was gonna stop in this island cast, but it's gonna be dark in about a half an hour. I'll have to do it next time. I'm gonna get back over there and fish around where I have to go in. Get my boat back in. The sun just took my bobber under. There it is. Yeah. Small bass, I think. Perch. Beautiful perch. Wow. Right. That is a nice perch. Look at that. We are going to let him go. So much for that. Yes. Oh, 
pumpkin seed. I haven't caught one of these in a while. A beautiful looking fish. Nice looking pumpkin seed. Got a hit here. Small. There it goes. Ah, missed him. Took my bait, took most of it. So I got a whole night crawler on here. Come on, get me a big bass. See, yep, already got a hit right here. As soon as it hit the water. Come on, come on, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yep, come on. Yep, yeah. small fish. Small fish playing around with it. Something just took my bobber down. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good fish. I think that's a pickerel. Ah, just picked up this another beautiful perch. This is even bigger. This is sweet. This is a big perch here. This is a nice perch. Beautiful yellow perch. All right, I'm gonna let him go. That's gonna wrap it up. I'm just about out of batteries. Thanks for watching. If you wanna like or subscribe, leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the outdoors. <laughs> and enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you on the next adventure. My battery is out in three, two, one.